Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. Many of our viewers have requested a DIY to craft camping food for the dolls. So today we share with you fun and easy ways to make your dolls yummy hamburgers, hot dogs and a vegetable casserole. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video, subscribe and share to help our channel grow. So let's get making. For realistic looking hamburgers, grab some tissues. Separate the ply before tearing them into little chunks. We ripped up two tissues to fill a bowl. Now add a generous amount of liquid glue, followed by brown paint. Mix well to coat all the tissue paper. It will reduce in size. To make uniformed burger patties, trace around a circular container or cap. Slip your paper into a clear plastic pocket. This next step is a bit messy, so we are wearing gloves. Take a pinch of your mix and start to form the burger patty. Put it on your template and spread it out to fill the circle. We had enough mixture to make three patties. Let them dry out. To make the bun, trace the same cup onto cardboard. Cut two circles for the top bun and one for the bottom. Take more tissues and cut them down into quarters. Join your two circles together, then cover all over with liquid glue. Drape a sheet of tissue paper around the disc, scrunching it up on top to give one side more height and fullness. Cover with more glue and repeat this step till you have built up enough dimension. The base bun will not need as many layers, since it is flat on both sides. To add sesame seeds, carefully squeeze tiny drops of hot glue onto the top bun. When completely dry, the bun will have lots of dimension and detail. To shade, we mixed yellow ochre with white acrylic paint to get a light brown colour. Paint this all over the bun. Next, apply yellow ochre to the centre, working outward with your brush, but not all the way to the edge. Repeat on the base bun. With a small nail art brush, apply white to the sesame seeds to make them pop. Here we used red puffy paint to add tomato sauce to one of our burger patties. For a slice of cheese, cut a square of yellow fun foam slightly bigger than your bun, then round the edges. You can keep all your ingredients separate or glue them together for a finished burger. Simply put glue on the base bun, pop on a patty, Add more glue to adhere the fun foam, then glue on the top bun. Mmm, your burgers are ready for the dolls to enjoy. Alright, let's switch materials to make hot dogs. Mix a little yellow paint with white clay to get a light dough colour for the bun. Now roll your clay to make a log about 5cm in length. On a non-stick surface, flatten the bun. Carefully make a partial cut through the centre of the bun then gently peel the sides apart. To help widen the gap for the sausage, we use the smooth tip of a paintbrush. With a pin or needle tool, scratch, flick and swirl the clay at the opening to mimic the look of fluffy bread. For the sausage, mix one part brown clay with three parts red to deepen the colour. Take a portion about the size of a small marble then roll out a log to be just under 5 cm. Use gentle pressure from the tip of your finger to elongate the tips. For added realism, make X marks into both ends of the sausage. Leave the clay overnight to dry and harden. To shade our bun, we used a generic tan brown paint. Apply the colour to the sides, but do not paint the textured areas we made earlier. Build up the colour at the middle of the bun, leaving the ends the light dough colour of the original clay. Also, remember to shade the base. You can keep the bun and sausage separate or use liquid glue to permanently join them. To match the style of American Girl's hot dog, we used puffy paint to add the squiggly mustard line. For extra toppings, we cut a clear hot glue stick into smaller chunks to be pieces of onion. Adhere to the sausage with liquid glue. Of course, this topping choice is all dependent on your doll's taste. Now for the vegetable casserole. Source a small plastic container for the casserole pot. Ours has a 6cm diameter. 
we chose to spray paint it light pink to look similar to the casserole dish from Mary Ellen's Retro Fridge. Cut small cubes of orange fun foam for the carrots and yellow for the corn pieces. Roll green air dry clay into tiny balls for the peas. For the broth, we will use a two-part resin. If you don't have access to resin, you could substitute with Elmer's clear glue, but the results may not last as well over time. Carefully measure out the resin. To achieve an orange colour, we mixed yellow with a tiny drop of red food dye. Mix well, then pour into the casserole dish. Wait 20 minutes, then place your vegetable pieces into the broth. Let your resin set as per your package instructions. Finish by hot gluing a clear bead to the centre of your container lid. Now your casserole dish is ready for serving. If you'd like to craft your dolls a creamy potato salad, click the card top right. Don't forget to subscribe to Always Dolls and see you soon for more miniature crafting fun.